Looks like the DeepSeek team is back again with a new model release, introducing the new DeepSeek R1 Lite preview. This new model from DeepSeek is a reasoning model like the O1 preview from OpenAI, meaning that it takes a longer time to think and respond with a more concrete answer than a regular model would, which is perfect for longer context generation and in-depth analysis of an output of an inquiry. Also great for coding, as you can get longer code snippets generated. Now, there isn't an official benchmark test that has been released, but they have shared a couple of benchmark tests within a couple of different categories. And they have said that it is capable of outpacing the Claude 3.5 Sonnet in various categories like math and coding, and beats the O1 preview in the same categories as well. The great part is, it's an open source model that you will soon have access to from open weights to APIs in a couple of days. If we are to take a look at the results on this preview model across benchmarks like AIME, CodeForce, Math, and many others, take a look at the inference scaling laws of this new R1 model. And this is an image that is comparing the O1 preview to the R1 model, and it showcases the relationship between the time or computational effort the model spends on reasoning and its performance. For this new R1 model, it is extending the thought length, which is the time spent thinking or analyzing, and it correlates directly with better outcomes in comparison to the O1 preview. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any other details other than the ones that the DeepSeek team has released. But now let's go ahead and showcase what this model is capable of by going over a couple of different benchmark tests which will evaluate how well this model is in various categories. But before we move on forward with today's video, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Kittle. The easiest way to create stunning designs using templates crafted by world-class designers. From branding to marketing, Kittle empowers you to bring your creative ideas to life effortlessly with the help of AI. A really cool feature of Kittle is its AI image sets. The ultimate tool for creating custom graphic packs with a consistent style. Need a complete set of visuals for your marketing, branding, or creative projects? Well, it's quite simple as just uploading your style reference and typing a prompt to have that consistent style. With Kittle, you can effortlessly generate image sets for social media, presentation, branding, and more. Start with a base image, describe your idea, and let Kittle do the rest. Each design maintains the same cohesive style to bring your creative vision to life. Elevate your designs with Kittle. Streamline your creative process and generate stunning cohesive graphics in just seconds. Whether you're working on social media visuals, branding projects, or theme designs, Kittle makes it easier than ever. So if you're interested, take a look at the promo code linked in the description below to get 25% off on all Kittle premium plans. So with that in mind, be sure to give Kittle a try. But with that thought, let's get right back into the video. Now, if you're interested in trying this out, you can easily get started by accessing it through DeepSeek's website, where I'll leave the link to in the description below, and you can easily get started with this model. If you are to click on a new chat, you can turn on DeepThink, which is where you're going to be able to access the R1 model. So for this test, we're going to be utilizing various prompts to assess the model's capabilities, especially in reasoning. We're going to first start off by asking it to create a front end for a modern note-taking app. Make it so that it is able to add sticky notes. So let's go over to DeepSeek's chatbot and send in this prompt. Now, essentially, this is where we're going to be having it generate the code, HTML, as well as CSS to replicate a visual layout and functionality of a note taking app. And you can see right away, it is really fast. And you can see that it takes five seconds to think about a thought as to how it should take on this uh, task and you can see it goes ahead and generates the implementation of an index HTML file and a CSS file. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this into a file and showcase what it was capable of generating. And there you go. It was able to create the front end for the sticky notes app where you can start adding new notes with a different color and you can just name it whatever you would want. So let's say I have to make three videos today. You can then save this note and it should show up over here but at the moment it doesn't seem to be functioning but this is 
where it was capable of creating the front end. Obviously, I would need to iterate it further to develop the back end. But in this case, it was capable of creating the front end for this modern looking note taking app. So let's give this a pass. Next up, we're asking it to calculate the distance for this segment over here. This is the mathematical equation, which is a train problem. And I'm trying to focus on calculating the distance of the train. And essentially, this is a mathematical reasoning question, which is focusing on evaluating numerical reasoning, unit conversions, as well as the ability to perform sequential calculations accurately. And one thing right away I can see is that it's taking the steps to work on finding a solution. And right here, it was capable of finding the solution right away from just thinking. It focuses on the equation of time at, uh, multiplied by distance, and it was capable of finding the correct answer, which is 262.5 miles. So let's go ahead and give this a pass. Next up, we're going to have it generate an SVG code for a simple butterfly shape. Now, as you may have known from previous videos where we tested other models, this is probably one of the hardest prompts that's out there for a model to actually complete because generating SVG code is quite hard for a model to follow structural and artistic instructions while understanding symmetry as well as aesthetics. So it's going to be quite surprising to see if this model will be capable of doing this. We know that other models like O1 Preview as well as Cloud 3.5 Sonnet are capable of doing this, but let's see if the R1 is capable of doing it as well. So it looks like it has generated the code. So let's see a preview of it. You can actually take a look at this within DeepSeek and there we go. We have a butterfly that it is capable of generating with SVG code and it looks like it is a pass on my end. So let's give this a pass. Next up, we're going to be asking an arithmetic progression bonus type of question this is a mathematical problem solving question which is going to assess a model's capability of examining logical reasoning and the ability to apply advanced math concepts so this is where we're going to be utilizing various functions and eventually we should get the answer of 60,000. and there we go it was able to use the right equations to solve for n we can see that it did do that it simplified it it was able to also solve for the total bonus amount, which was 60,000. And it was also capable of getting various sorts of answers from the smallest bonus to the largest bonus. So this is definitely a pass. And it also even goes ahead and provides the number of employees receiving the bonus bonuses, which is 40. So it went over and beyond on this question. So this is definitely deemed a pass. So you can easily see that this is a really good math model. And it's also capable of generating really good code. So now let's go ahead and have it create the game of life. Now, most models tend to fail at this. So let's see if it's capable of generating algorithm designs and implementation with Python code. It's going to focus on testing uh, different types of thinking, logic, and ability to produce working efficient code in Python. So once that's finished generating, we're going to take a look at a preview of it within the chatbot. So I've run along and I've copied the code from the chatbot. So let's see if this is functional. And there we go. It is the game of life. And it's actually better than my previous generation with the Quen model. So this is definitely deemed a pass. So let's go over to the spreadsheet and give this a pass. Now, the next one is where we're going to be assessing how well the model is in terms of code implementation and error handling. This is where we're going to have it write a Python function or a script to simulate an online store checkout system. Now, essentially, we're going to have it generate the, the answer or the Python script for user input calculation and error handling. And it's essentially going to be assessing how well the model is in practical coding skills for real world scenarios. We're going to have it so that it will allow users to input items and their quantities, calculate the total cost with the tax, which is 13%. Provide discounts for orders above $100 and include error handling for valid inputs. So we can go ahead and assess this Python code implementation. And it looks like it has now finished focusing on all of these six different uh, steps. We first have the main step, which is focusing on the I initialization and the input validation, where it focuses on the price flexibility. It also makes sure that it's a positive number in the next segment 
which we see over here that is the input for the number of items we have the next step which is input for the item names and the quantities over here for the next step we have the calculation which is the subtotal where it focuses on collecting the uh, points above and focuses on correctly calculating the total base on the total of number of quantities we have the implementation of the tax which is 13 percent over here we have the discount applied which was i believe 18 or sorry discounts over a hundred dollars and that was 10 percent if we scroll down we have the display of the receipt so we can see that it was correctly able to provide a good script in python allowing a dynamic price for different items handling duplicate items which are more appropriate and it's going to ensure the discount is applied before tax so we can see that it is providing a really good script in python so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a pass now this next prompt is focused on logical deduction this is where you have a prompt where there's three types of people knights knaves who always lie knights are people who always tell, tell the truth and then you have spies who can tell the truth or lie you must uh, you meet these three people, Alex, Blair, and Casey. You gotta basically determine the type of each person. So we're gonna go ahead and send over this prompt. But essentially, this is something that analyzes the statement for contradictions and determines the role based on the truth or falsehood consistently. It's testing and evaluating logical reasoning, inferenceability, and the context of understanding. Now, I haven't even analyzed the answer, but I'm just looking at all the different alternative as well as all the different scenarios it has developed you can see that it has been thinking for a while you scroll up it has been thinking for 65 seconds and this has been the answer it has been able to output based off the thinking we have one two three four five six seven scenarios and it also provides a consistency check for all seven of these different scenarios so this is definitely correct based off of all the outputs and all the scenarios that are available with three different char uh, characters. So this is definitely deemed a pass and it does a great job in logically reasoning on the outputs of each of these different scenarios. Now the next text is, or the next prompt is to analyze the following text. It's about 600 words and I'm gonna request it to summarize it into three key takeaways, highlighting the most important argument and the evidence that is presented so i'm gonna go ahead and send over this long lengthy blog article which is 600 words and it focuses on the impact of ai on modern workplaces so essentially i'm trying to see if it's going to be capable of providing me three key takeaways i'm essentially focusing on the efficiency and the productivity uh focusing on job displacement and also a need for policy reform and education so let's see if it's able to focus on those three key criteria. We first have the benefit of AI in workplaces, concerns and challenges. We have job displacement, where it's focusing on this. It is also focusing on how it is beneficial in the workspace, a need for uh, education and training. We have also the implementation of policy. So we can see that it focuses on all three of the different things, where it focuses on the benefits of increased efficiency and productivity, focuses on the concerns and challenges such as job displacements and inequality. You have a need for education and policy and also does a couple of additional things such as focusing on lifelong learning, new job creation and global implementation. And it also focuses on a couple of other ro roles as well as key takeaways. So this is definitely deemed a pass. And now what we're going to be doing is having it design a new algorithm. So this is a prompt that is going to be focusing on algorithms as well as complexity and analysis. It's where I'm having it generate pseudocode using Bellman's Ford algorithm. And I'm going to try to have the shortest path algorithm design. And I want to see if it actually uses the Bellman Ford algorithm. It's a three, three step process where it initializes the distance, relax edges, and thirdly focuses on checking for negative weight uh, cycles and what we're trying to get out of this is where if it's capable of assessing the ability to create algorithms and explaining computational trade-offs so once that's generated we'll definitely take a look at this and just from looking at 
this answer right away it uses the Bellman's forward algorithm for the initialization and it focuses on the distance it focuses on the edge weight decrease increase as well as a non spt edge change it also focuses on the negative weight cycles and this is definitely a pass because it focuses on finding the shortest path algorithm with the pseudocode uh, algorithm using Bellman's Ford. So we can go ahead to our spreadsheet and give this a pass. Lastly, we're going to have it explain the difference between irony and sarcasm and provide an example for each. Now, we always ask the model this because we're going to be able to see how well it is in terms of computational or sorry, conceptual understanding and explanation. And we're going to try to evaluate the understanding of the R1 with a more detailed response. So that's something that I'm trying to look at. And we can see right away, it focuses on the different types of irony. We have verbal, situational, and dramatic. And then we have a couple of examples for sarcasm as well as irony. So this is definitely deemed a pass. And that's basically a great evaluation of this new R1 model. I went a little easy on certain prompts, but it is definitely really impressive to see that this is a great model that is really well in terms of code generation, longer context, as well as logically reasoning. It is also able to solve a lot of mathematical equations, so that's also great to see. And this is definitely a great alternative that is open source to the new O1 preview model. We haven't seen anything like this before, so this is really great to see. So I have a huge uh, respect for the DeepSeek team for developing such a great model. I'll leave all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. I hope you learned a lot and you got something out of this video. It's definitely uh, free to take a look at the chatbot or start using the chatbot for free. So I'll leave that in the description as well. But with that thought, guys, make sure you follow me on Twitter. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. Follow me on the Patreon so that you can access subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. Follow me on the YouTube page by subscribing, turning on the notification bell, liking this video, and checking out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.